Before you can open your restaurant, you need a business plan. This video is immensely important not only because it will guide your decision making in early stages of your business, but also because it will be required if you need to secure funding from investors. Keep watching this video to find out how to write a business plan for your restaurant business. The Executive Summary The Executive Summary is brief overview of your business, including your restaurant's concept, menu, location, and target market. It should also include your company's financial projections for the next three to five years. Your executive summary should be no more than two pages long. It should be clear, concise, and free of any technical jargon. Be sure to proofread it carefully before you submit it to potential investors or lenders. The company description. Company description should include brief overview of your restaurant, including your concept, menu, and target market. You'll also want to include information on your management team and any unique selling points that will set your restaurant apart from the competition. The products and services. Include a detailed description of the products and services you will offer. Describe how your restaurant will stand out from other businesses in the area. What kind of atmosphere will you create? What type of menu do you plan to offer? Be as specific as possible so that readers of your business plan have a clear understanding of what your restaurant will be about. The market analysis. This is where you take a close look at the potential customers in your area and decide whether or not there is a demand for your type of restaurant. If you find that there are already several restaurants like yours in the area, you may need to rethink your concept or target a different demographic. However, if you believe that there is a market for your restaurant, then you can move on to creating your business plan. To complete your market analysis, you will need to research the demographics of your potential customer base as well as the competition. Additionally, you should assess what type of marketing strategy would be most effective in reaching your target audience. The competitive analysis. This is where you'll analyze the competition and explain what makes your restaurant unique. Now, let me share you a few tips for writing a competitive analysis for your restaurant business plan. One, know who your competition is. This may seem like an obvious first step, but it's important to be specific about who your competition is. Are there other restaurants in the same genre as yours? Are there other businesses that offer similar products or services? Be as specific as possible in your answer. Two, research your competition. Once you know who your competition is, it's time to do some research. Visit their websites, check out their menus, and read any reviews you can find. You should also visit their restaurant, if possible, to get a feel for their atmosphere and operation. Three, identify your competitive advantages. After you've done your research, it's time to identify what makes your restaurant unique. What do you offer that your competition doesn't? Why would someone choose to eat at your restaurant over another? The sales and marketing plan. Now that you have an idea of the cost and potential revenue for your restaurant business, it's time to start thinking about how you're going to market and sell your product. This is where your sales and marketing plan comes in. Your sales and marketing plan should be comprehensive and well thought out. It should include your target market, your unique selling proposition, your marketing strategy, and your sales goals. Your target market is a group of people who are most likely to buy your product or use your service. When you know your target market is, you can determine what marketing methods will work best to reach them. Your unique selling proposition is what makes your restaurant business different from all the other businesses out there. What will make customers choose you over everyone else? Your marketing strategy is the overall plan for how you're going to research your target market and promote your unique selling proposition. This could include online marketing, print ads, personal selling, etc. The management plan. This is especially true for restaurants where the day-to-day -day operation can be very demanding. A well-run restaurant requires a significant amount of coordination and communication between the front of house and the back of house staff, as well as their suppliers. An effective management plan will ensure that all these different moving parts are working together efficiently to provide a great experience for the customers. It will also help to keep costs under control. There are a few key elements that should be included in a restaurant management plan. Organizational structure, who will be responsible for what tasks, roles and responsibilities, what exactly will each staff member be responsible for. Communication protocols, 
How will information be relayed between different departments? Supplier relationships? Who are the key suppliers and how will orders be placed? Scheduling? How will shift patterns be organized to ensure adequate coverage? Budgeting? What are the targets of sales and cost control? Financial projections? Financial projections provide detailed estimates of your revenue and expenses and show how your business will perform over time. Creating accurate financial projections is essential for two reasons. First, they give you a clear idea of how much money you need to start and operate your restaurant. This information is critical when it comes to seeking funder from investors or lenders. Second, financial projections help you track your progress and perform over time. They will allow you to identify trends and make necessary adjustments to keep your business on track. Appendix. Six things you may want to include in your appendix. Detailed financial projections, floor plans, menus, photos or renderings of your proposed space, biographies of key team members, and letters of support from industry experts or potential customers. Thank you.